people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm reporting to you guys live and direct from Round Rock, Texas. And don't ask why I'm in Round Rock, Texas uh, right now. I'll get to that maybe in a live one of these days. If you guys ask me in a live, like, why I was BT in Round Rock, Texas, I'll, I'll get into that later on. But um, I'm here right now, killing some time. And uh, yeah, man, I wanted to talk about this whole IBF heavyweight situation because it's been something that's been very uh, uh, frustrating to, to, to watch and follow as a fan of heavyweight boxing, um, as a fan of Philip Hergovic. It's just been very uh, frustrating, you know, to see guys like Luis Ortiz and Michael Hunter and Joseph Parker and the whole collection of those guys duck Philip Hergovic or, as you guys would say, make smart business decisions and avoid Philip Hergovic, you know, because... Um, Hergovic, I, I really feel like he's one of the best heavyweights out there, but I, I don't have to, I don't have to whine or complain anymore or bitch and moan anymore about why or about who will fight her. Cause we have somebody that has the courage, that believes in their skills enough, that has the balls to step in the ring and Philip Hergovic. And you know what? I want to give this guy a lot of credit because um, I haven't always been the biggest, uh, uh, I, I haven't always been impressed by him as far as his skills um as as a pro i think he has more of an amateur style and he's still trying to work it out in the pros but what an opportunity because tony Oka, i want to give big respect and tip my cap to the frenchman tony Oka, who um has you know he, he deserves respect because he, he's doing what joseph parker doesn't want to do he's doing what Luis ortiz doesn't believe in himself enough to do and he's doing what michael hunter was too was too scared to do which is fight philip hergovic um you know, so good for him. Good for him. And I and I like this matchup a lot because this is a rematch of um, a very, very uh, competitive fight in the Olympics. For those that know and for those that don't know, let me tell you, um, Hergovic and, and, and Yoka fought in the Olympics. I, I can't remember what stage they fought at right now, but I know it was a, as, I know I know it was like on Yoka went on to win the gold medal in the 2016 Olympics. And when he fought Hergovic, it was a very close, very disputed fight. Some people thought Yoka won. A lot of people thought Hergovic won. But it was a close enough fight to where there was controversy. And now they get to settle that rematch in the pros. And isn't that a beautiful thing? Like I think, I think as boxing fans, we should take the time to appreciate this fight. Because how many times have we seen, like in the past, like a great example, like Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis, these guys fought in a gold medal match. That was supposed to be a big heavy, heavyweight rivalry. They never fought on the pros, so it's just good to see, you know, rematches in the pros for, for, from good fights in the amateurs, you know. And, um, you know, Yoka, uh, big guy, you know, big guy, long rangy, got a good jab, uh, good size on him, moves decent for the weight class. Um, looking forward to this fight because I feel like both of these guys will be up for it. You know, to be honest, we know Philip Hergovic hasn't fought that great of competition you know he's fought less than stellar competition he's fighting the marco radiniches and kevin johnson's and and and, and uh, emil amadovics and, and all these guys of the world these guys and then you know well yoka he's fought slightly better competition you know more more, more recognizable names like christian hammer yohan duapuz guys like that but all these guys are way past the best sell-by date so it's not like he's beating the who's who of heavyweight boxing either so um, for both these guys, I look at it as their first real test in the heavyweight division in their professional careers. And I think, you know, like Hergovic, I, I think is the harder puncher of the two of them. Um, Yoka, you know, if you want to use what happened in the amateurs as, as a good example, you could say Yoka is maybe a slightly better boxer. Um, but, you know, in the times that I've watched Yoka fight, just give my honest opinion. The times that I've watched Tony Yoka fight, because I went live, I went live for one of his fights. I think it was the Christian Hammer fight. You know, I wasn't really the the most impressed with uh, Yoka. I, I still think he's he's trying to uh, break a lot of amateur tendencies in the pros, and you know, I I I, I I I don't think he's really done that all the way. But he better do it quickly because he's fighting a guy who I I think for for, for, for talking about styles, we're talking about styles. I think Hergovic. His style is more suited to the pro game than Yoka's. Um, anybody who knows uh, anything about boxing knows what I'm talking about. Like, there are two different sports. Amateur boxing and professional boxing are two different sports. So when you're an amateur, you're a lot more on your toes. You're just throwing punches to kind of score and land. 
And when you're a professional, you're you're more you're not on your toes as much because you're trying to hurt your opponent. So the amateurs is more of like hit and don't get hit. The pros is more like hurt and don't get hurt. And I think Hergovic has the style that's more suited to the pro game. But you know what? There's a reason you watch the fights. I'm very excited for this fight. I mean, I don't know if there's a date yet. I don't know when they're planning to fight. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it because, like I said, in, like, like I've said many times, you know, 2022 ha has to be a better year for boxing for the whole sport. we got to set a new standard in boxing for the whole sport because uh, there can't be all these pretenders running around saying they got an undefeated record while they're not fighting the, 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 the other top guys. So, you know, how beautiful is it that we get two of the two of the guys that medaled in the last in the 2016 Olympics to square off and fight each other and see who's who in the pros, you know? It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful beautiful thing. Hergvik doesn't got to worry about an opponent. He's now got an opponent that I think he'll be very very up for, which I think is good because if you look at his last couple of fights, I think Phil Hergvik's been bored because the competition has been so below his skill level and ability, he hasn't really been, um, there's not really much he could do as far as growth and learning because the guys aren't just on his level. But now with Yoka, he's going to want redemption. He's going to want payback. He's going to want to punch a hole through him. And I know Yoka is going to want to establish himself in the pro. So it's, it's a great heavyweight fight. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we'll, de we'll definitely be talking more about Hergovic Yoka as it uh, gets closer. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about Hergovic versus Tony Yoka? I want to hear everything. Um, let me know what you guys think. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.